Hey, so today we're going to talk about calorie deficit. What is a calorie deficit and how do you achieve it? Now you've probably heard this term before and you probably actually do know what it is, but if you are trying to lose weight, I really want you to listen because it's crucial to understand what it is, how it works and different methods to get there. So a calorie deficit is all about the energy balance. So calories in versus calories out, which is bigger. And I'm going to try to explain it like this. So here we have a minus, here we have a plus. So the minus is the burn, the calories out. So you burn calories from just existing, from digesting food, from just walking, from exercise. And calories in is basically anything you eat and drink. So throughout the day, you'll be eating. So we're having some breakfast, we're having some lunch, we're having a snack, we're filling that one up. But at the same time, we are just existing. You're at work, you maybe went for a walk, you maybe went for a workout, and throughout the day, these are going back and forth. So at the end of the day, whichever of these is the largest, that's either gonna be your calorie deficit or your calorie surplus. So let's say you did an extra long workout, you did for extra long walk, and at the end of the day, it looks like this. So we see here, our minus is bigger than the plus. So in this scenario, we are in a deficit. And it doesn't matter if it looks like this, or if it looks like this, we're burning a lot of calories, we are also consuming more calories. So it doesn't matter how tall these are, whichever is the biggest is what matters. Right now we are in a calorie deficit because our burn is bigger than our consumption. However, let's say we had a bunch of food, we had some wine, some nuts, here we go. Now. Our food is bigger than our burn, so now we are in a calorie surplus. So, if you look at the burn part, there are four ways to burn calories. So, it's either your base metabolic rate, basically what the body just needs to function. That is a huge chunk of what you burn every day. It is also the amount of calories it takes to burn or digest the food that you actually eat. Then there is what you burn during exercise, and what you burn kind of in just day-to-day -day life. It could be just walking, it could be at work, it could be cleaning, small stuff, but throughout the day add up in the calories. As you can see, the, the percentage that you burn during exercise actually is quite small. So in order to create a calorie deficit, the easiest thing is actually to focus on the food rather than trying to work out more. So if we look at the food side of it, we saw that we need our food and our drink to be less than what we burn. And food and drink, remember that. So what you drink is as important as what you eat. So let's say you've kind of figured out that you roughly, during a day, burn 2,500 calories. If you want to be a deficit, so you put your calorie target at around 2,000. This is very important. It doesn't matter what you eat as long as you're in that calorie range. It does not matter what you eat as long as you're in that range. Let me explain. So let's say both of these represent 2,000 calories. So throughout the day, you're having salad, you're having some egg whites, you're having oven baked chicken, you're having water. So throughout the day, you've had awesome foods, it's 2000 calories. A different day, you could be having cheese, you could be having wine, you could be having chocolate, and maybe a salad in there too. So both of these are 2000 calories. So you don't have to eat just boring stuff, you could be eating what you want to in moderation as long as it fits in your calories. So this one is probably easier to sustain though. So it'll probably be more fiber, more protein. It'll probably be better for you because it's probably more vegetables and stuff like that. While this one will be probably harder because let's say you had a big piece of chocolate cake for breakfast. That's probably half of the calories throughout the day. So throughout the rest of the day, you'll have to eat a lot less to kind of make sure that you're in your 2000 calorie range. But again, throughout the day, what matters is the total amount. So if you are a person who, who loves chocolate after dinner, that is fine, but you'll probably have to adjust throughout the day to make sure that that's within your limit. A lot of people, when they hear this, they think, well, that's no case. Like you can't have junk food, you can't have chips, you can't have alcohol in a calorie deficit. Yes, you can, but you have to be smart about it. So that's really the math part of it. Of course, there are other things like you wanna eat enough protein each day. You wanna drink enough water each day. But the fundamentals of weight loss is this, the energy balance, i.e. calorie deficit or calorie surplus, and hope you know now what that actually is. So I hope you liked this video. Now this is a new channel for me, so I would really appreciate it if you liked and subscribed to my channel, and please let me know in the comments 
any videos you would like me to make or any questions that you might have. And I'll see you on the next one.